Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Still you are facing the problem, then do a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for Nvidia. So go to Nvidia website and then select the right product type. So if you have GeForce, select GeForce. Now select the right product series. So make sure that you select your graphic card over here. So for me, it's 30 series. Now select the right graphic card. So whichever graphic card you have, select your graphic card over here. Now, if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11 and then click on start search. And then scroll down. And over here you can see GeForce Game Ready Driver. Not the studio, but GeForce Game Ready Driver. Now this is the latest one right now that is driver version 546.33. So whichever is the latest, click on get download and then click on download now. And once the download is complete, you have to run this exe file. So let the download complete. Once done, click on the exe file and then you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom. So select custom over here and then click on next. Then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete. First of all, it will uninstall the previous version and then it will install the it will do a clean installation of the latest version and after this restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is important so go to the settings and then go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to unplug external devices so if you have these devices connected disconnect it also if you have any additional controller connected disconnect it if you have any third party ap application running this uh, you can disable it also try launching the game on single monitor disable steam overlay now for this make a right click on the game select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game also close all the other overlay applications. So if you have overlay on in Discord, turn it off. If you have overlay on in GeForce Experience, turn it off. So close all other overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner, Reaver Tuner or any kind of any over, overclocking application, you can close it. Also if you have any third party software, close it. Also close all the browser and third, third party application. Also, if you have undervoted your computer, remove the undervote and then launch the game. To perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Put a check over here and then click on disable all. So make sure that you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties. In the launch option, type in dash DX11 and then launch the game and then check. If that does not work, in that case, you can try dash DX12. So let me close the game first. So make a right click on the game once again and then this time type in dash DX12 and then launch the game and then check. Still you are facing the problem then remove this, clear this and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, Whichever antivirus program you have, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11 and then click on Windows security. If you have Windows 10, you will have an option update in security. Click on update in security, then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Now scroll down at the end, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, you can open C drive. And then 
Now open the program files x86. Now open the Steam folder. And now open the Steam apps folder. Open the common folder. Over here you will find the game folder. Open the game folder. Select the game.exe file and then click on open. Once the game is added, now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now go to the system and security and then click on Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on change settings at the top and then click on allow another app. Then click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder once again. And then select the game exe file click on open once the game is added click on add over here in my case this is already added so once added you can launch the game now the next step is to verify the game file now this is important so make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the install file tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and once the verification is done now launch the game next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so make a right click on the game select manage and then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder here you can see the game exe file make a right click on the game exe file select properties go over here and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here so instead of launching the game from the steam you can just make a double click over here and launch the game as an administrator now still you are facing the problem, make a right click once again, select properties and this time put a check over here which says run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 and then put a check on disable full screen optimization, click on apply, click on ok and then make a double click launch the game. If that does not work, this time select windows 7 from the list and then click on apply, click on ok, make a double click launch the game. Still you are facing the problem, in that case you can uncheck everything. So if checking is not working then you can uncheck everything, click on apply, click on ok and now follow the next step. Now the next step is to, now this is for laptop users with dual graphic card, make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder, select the game exe file, now click on add, once the game is added over here, click on options, select high performance, now click on save and now launch the game. Next step is to delete the save game files. Now before you delete the save game files, let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress. You, you have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, delete the save game file. Now for this open file explorer, now open C drive, now open users folder, and then open your username folder. Now open saved games folder. Now over here you will see the game folder. Make a right click and then click on delete. Once this is deleted, now you can launch the game. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now this is important. So just go to Windows update or update and security then click on check for update. Once this is done, now restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Download x86 and then run the CXC file. Now, in my case, I have already installed. So if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, I have already installed. Uh, also install x64 so click on it now run this ex you have to download both x86 and x64 now run this exe file x64 and again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install and once both are installed make sure both are installed and then once installed restart your computer So just wait for the installation to complete and once that is done, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive 
So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to, if you are able to launch the game, launch the game, switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings. So if you are able to launch the game, launch the game first. Now once you launch the game, go to options and then go to video. Now over here, select window mode. Now Texture quality, you can set it to low and for shadow, shadow quality, if this is set to high, you can select normal and just select the lower down graphics setting. So if everything is set to high, you can try medium and you can turn off this bloom. If the bloom is on, you can turn it off and you can even limit the frame rate. So you can set the... Uh, frame rate to 60 or 120 and then apply the settings save the settings and then check the performance now the next step is to update the system bios so go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. So go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS update available and then update the system BIOS. Now in case of a laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. And during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, if nothing is working, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So you can make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart the computer, and then reinstall the game to C drive. So if you have installed the game to external drive, you can Install the game to C drive. If that is SSD, that would be great. So try installing the game to SSD and then check. Now, if the game is already installed in C drive, then you can 
try installing the game to different SSD and then check the performance. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.